Okay, so today's test is going to be with the main focus is going to be the Hornady 100 grain ELD VT that at the time of filming this video they kind of just came out with it and we're finally just getting to testing some hand loads with that bullet. So all of the equipment and load information will be in the description underneath the video. So if you want to know more about all of what's going on here, please check that out and view the disclaimer for all of the load information. With that being said, um, in an effort to try to get YouTube not to castrate me, um, this is a bolt action rifle with a 10 round magazine on a private range with a safe firing line. There are no other pedestrians or bystanders. There's a good backstop. It's a safe environment. So with that out of the way, we're going to be testing one bullet, but with several powders. So we have Varget Vitivory N540 and Reloader 15. So the first three groups that we're going to be shooting are Varget. The next three are going to be with the N540 and the next three are going to be with Reloader 15. And we're going to be jumping up in one grain increments, which like I said, the exact load information will be in the description below. These are pretty well loaded to just, just about magnum, or not magnum, magazine length. So they're not loaded to jam into the lands or anything. We just kind of loaded them to an appropriate length for feedings sake. And uh, we're going to run with it. Now, the gun is a Impact 737 Action with a BART line barrel and an MDT chassis. Like I said, the exact details of all the equipment will be in the description for those of you that are curious. We're gonna start on the top left diamond and work from left to right. Three thousand thirty-five. Three thousand fifty-eight. 3,015, 3,078, 3,026. So the velocities were kind of all over the place. Obviously they shot okay, but uh, velocities were not very consistent. Our average muzzle velocity was 30, 43. Our extreme spread was 63 and our standard deviation is 23. So that's pretty crappy actually. Um, might not be looking at Varget as a suitable powder for this bullet, but it's a good thing we're going to be testing several powders, isn't it? Okay, we started with 39 grains of Varget. We're going to 40 grains of Varget. 3168. 3119. 3170, 3126, and 3167. So accuracy on that was actually pretty good until the last two groups, which this barrel's already probably getting pretty toasty. But uh, <clears throat> we brought up the thick boy today to hopefully mitigate having to do this slowly because we're gonna run out of daylight so we kind of have to run this pretty quick we can't can't take too long to do it 3150 average extreme spread of 51 and a standard deviation of 23 that sucks um, for a rifle like this definitely should be doing better so we are going to go straight to 41 grains of Varget we're gonna give this gun a little bit of time to cool down and then we're gonna move over to the Vitivory in 540. Aiming for the top right diamond. 3212. 3211. 3219. 3249. I had to throw the whole velocity. Consistency out of the window on that one. I don't know what happened on that last shot. The rest of them suckers were shooting pretty good. But, Varget is not our powder of choice here. Okay, so our average was 3219, extreme spread of 43, and a standard deviation of 15. I'm hoping the other powders will prove to uh, perform better as far as velocity consistency. The accuracy wasn't 
a huge problem, but it definitely could have been better. Um, that last group was really good, minus that last shot, but you count them all. Otherwise, there's no point in shooting five-shot groups. But uh, we're going to give the gun a minute to cool down. I'm probably going to have to replace the battery and the cameras here. And then I'm going to come back, and we're going to start with the Vitavori powder. And we're going to start on the left side of the center diamond. And we're just going to keep going left to right from top to bottom of the target. Okay, we are moving on to 40 grains of Vitavori N540. I'm not going to lie, the barrel is still pretty darn hot, but we don't really have the daylight left to give this thing a proper cool down because it will probably take quite a while because it's not that cool out here in the first place. So we're just going to keep going. This is going to be on the left side of the center diamond. And again, we're just going to move left to right. Thirty-one forty-four. Thirty-one forty-nine. Thirty-one thirty-nine. Thirty-one forty-four. Thirty-one thirty-eight. That didn't seem too bad. Okay, definitely a lot better. So our average muzzle velocity was 31.43, our extreme spread was 12, and our standard deviation was four. So, excuse me, definitely way better consistency on the velocity side of things. We're getting some horizontal stringing on the group down range. That honestly could have a lot to do with the fact that I'm letting this barrel get pretty stinking hot, but uh, they're still shooting good as far as um, accuracy goes. All these groups are acceptable for a varmint bullet. That's part of the reason I wanted to use this gun today. Um, we are simply testing the bullet's performance capabilities. Even though I would not probably use them in this gun in the first place, you guys voted for 6.5 Creedmoor, and this is probably the most accurate 6.5 Creedmoor that I have that I could put long shot strings on paper and not get too hot to still shoot a decent group. The SIG cross that I have shoots really well, but it's um, a little more picky, needless to say. So this gun should be a lot more forgiving. I think it's doing a good job of representing what this bullet's probably capable of doing and just kind of figuring out what powders work good with this bullet in a barrel length sort of like this uh, was kind of what I was going for. So anyway, we're going to move on to the next group. If there's another cartridge you want to see this bullet in or if there is a particular powder you would like to see tested with said bullet uh, whatever you're thinking of drop a comment please leave me some kind of a suggestion I appreciate those it makes my life a lot easier because it helps me to figure out what you guys want to actually watch and not just what I want to do with it which is why I've started doing polls because that does help me out a little bit so anyway moving on we are going to do 41.0 grains of the Vitavori in 540 Ooh, that thing's She's warm. Okay, we are going to be aiming at the dead center of the whole target, so right in the center of the center diamond. 3257. The group definitely started off bigger. 3212. 3211. 3265, velocities are opening up. 3217, so the accuracy still wasn't bad. It just started not touching bullets, so it didn't look as pretty on the target. Velocity, on the other hand, um, just glancing at it, looked like it was opening up quite a bit. So yeah, we had an average of 3233 with an extreme spread of 54 and a standard deviation of 24. So Spreads got pretty big there. Um, we're still gonna go ahead and shoot the next group. I might try to get, give the gun a little bit of a breather here, but uh, the next group is going to be 42.0 grains of N540 on the right side of the target. Okay, 42 grains going for the right side of the center diamond. 42.0. 
3303 3323 3309 you're definitely opening up some okay 3319 was our average muzzle velocity with an extreme spread of 24 and a standard deviation of 8. So that's really still not that bad considering we are using brand new brass. But uh, this thing is getting hot. So I'm going to try to give this a decent chunk of time here to cool off as much as I can. And then we are going to shoot the Reloader 15 loads and this test will be concluded. Telling you right now, horse flies are spawns of the devil. I don't care what anybody thinks. Okay, we're, well, now I gotta look at it again. We're <clears throat> moving on to Reloader 15, 39.5 grains. I'm gonna be shooting for the bottom left diamond. I'm going to be using this mosquito to spot me. And uh, hopefully these are all gonna go in one hole and we'll have some really consistent velocities. This thing is not going anywhere. I should just let it bite me. It's, it's not gonna go away. I'm just telling you. Maybe muzzle blast will help. Let's let's just do this. Hope for the best. I'm gonna go fast. Gotta go fast. Thirty-one twenty-two. Thirty-one thirty-six. 31.33. 3121 3101 I think it, except for that last shot the velocities were pretty consistent on those 3123 feet per second average with an extreme spread of 35 and a standard deviation at 12 however that last shot opened up the spread quite a bit so I'm not going to delete it but it definitely didn't help our case any so we are going to be doing the next group is going to be on the bottom of the center diamond we're going to be shooting 40.5 grains of reloader 15 and that is going to be our second to last group and we're going to be done for the day Okay, 40.5 grains of Reloader 15, aiming for the bottom of the center diamond. 32.26. That one went way low. 32.20. 32.21. 3221 3223 now we had some stupid consistent velocities on that but the group was terrible compared to the others that was not impressive yeah so an average muzzle velocity of 3222 an extreme spread of 6 and a standard deviation of 2.2 so velocity consistency was great on target results not so much which means we will shoot this last group regardless because that was our original plan anyway and then we're gonna be done the Mirage is horrible I am trying to shoot between moments of clarity it is extremely calm out here which I am NOT complaining about but it does make it really really hard to shoot through the Mirage so I'm trying to keep an open chamber until I shoot, which I've gotten into the habit of doing anyway. But um, just trying to help as much as I can with the limited daylight. I just don't want to let the gun cool off to the point where I no longer have a warm barrel and then the target's going to be so dark y'all can't see anymore. So we're going to shoot this last group at 41 and a half grains of Reloader 15. We are going to be aiming at the bottom right diamond on the target. And that is going to conclude our shooting session today. 
3290 or we'll just say 3300. 3,332. 3,336. That's pretty fast. Okay, average muzzle velocity was 3311. The extreme spread was 52, and the standard deviation was 20. So nothing to brag about. Uh, the bullet's accuracy in this gun was okay. It was not anything to be super thrilled about. Because again, we were talking about a rifle that should be able to produce some pretty dang good groups, and has. Um, we actually shot a mile with this gun two weekends ago. So, um, very consistent shooting rifle. These loads didn't exactly represent that, which may be my fault, partly. But uh, either way, I just wanted to get a video out there for you guys that were interested in this particular bullet in 6.5 Creedmoor. We will probably be making a video on this bullet in the 6.5 Grendel. Please do me a favor and leave a comment if you would like to see that so that I can see how much of a request we have for said video. But aside from that, that is going to conclude today's video, so thank you for sticking around. Like I said, please check out the description for more details on stuff. And y'all stay risen, take care, be safe, and we'll see you on the next one.